It's time to check out a zombie invasion show that wants your heart as much as your other delicious organs. Love You as the World Ends is 2021's freshest corpse attack show, a rare horror romance story that allows you to watch people get eaten while making your girlfriend wish you were eating her. This is also the first zombie show I've seen that was produced by a bee! Oh my god, bees! Ah! Oh well, back to uh, mysteries that we may solve. Love You Till the World Ends concerns Hibiki, a man devoted to cooking good food, and his girlfriend, Karumi, who he plans to marry just as soon as she gets back from work. Unfortunately for Hibiki, while riding his motorcycle through a tunnel, the tunnel collapses, what are the odds there, trapping him inside. After many days of moving rubble, Hibiki finally escapes the tunnel, only to discover that everyone outside has started getting really serious about their keto diet. Uh, oh, no, sorry. Zombies have taken over the world. After a band of survivors save Hibiki from becoming the latest buffet item at the zombie corral, Hibiki teams up with them, and they search for safety. Will they find a safe haven? Will everyone survive on the way there? Did his girlfriend, Kurumi, also survive? Why do some zombies run, but others just kind of, like, stroll around? These and other questions remain to be answered. Okay, so we as a world are drowning in zombie media. I think we can all admit that. You know, we've kind of tapered off from the onslaught of zombie movies and shows that started about 15 years ago, but it seems that zombies are here to stay as a cornerstone of horror and pop culture from here on out. So, when a zombie show comes out now, your first question is probably going to be, does it do anything new? The answer is no. Love You As The World Ends does not do anything new in zombies, aside from having a central focus on romance. But while it is derivative, its plot has tore off some of the more interesting parts of other past zombie media. For instance, in this show, zombies scream to alert others of prey, which is shown here in this particularly creepy scene. <laughs> As pointed out before, zombies run and walk in this series, apparently, satisfying fans of both types of zombie. You know, that's actually a pretty smart idea. Why not get you a zombie that can do both? And you know, not everyone can run a mile, and maybe some zombies are hungrier and more motivated than others. There's room for everyone here at the end of this world. Zombies here are more alive than some media out there, with decent action and some fun moments where zombies tumble over each other and railings like scenes from Japan's likely best zombie title, I Am a Hero. You know, Zombie Osha is going to have a real field day with this one. The gore in the show is not too strong, but the zombies all look bloody and generally messed up, and the show isn't afraid to get the actors dirty. There's no real complaints here on that front. There's also a good selection in the rest of the parts too, with a focus on storytelling, vulnerable characters who can die at any time, and good characterization. They are both likable and hateable survivors. And while they serve predictable roles, they do a good job in their acting. Hey, you know what? Let's review those survivors now. After watching two episodes, I can safely say Love You As The World Ends is a decent show. It scratches that festering zombie itch nicely, and it's interesting seeing a Japanese television series about the living dead. My only real gripes about it are the show's use of a weird, grainy filter in some scenes that makes things harder to look at. And, of course, the romance plot. Yeah, it's a hybrid romance horror show, I get it, so it has to have some sort of love material in it. You know, and while it does add some higher stakes to the proceedings, it's kind of predictable. And how they handle informing us about Hibiki's relationship it introduces some really awkward moments to the show. You see, every episode's ending shows a flashback to Hibiki and Kurumi as their relationship started, grew, etc. It's good character development, but you need to put it at the start of the episode. This is where it's at now. Say an episode just wrapped up and you saw someone probably just die. It's a pretty shocking, sobering moment. 
Well, all of a sudden, immediately, with no pause, the show cuts to a flashback of Hibiki cooking ribs and giggling with Kurumi. It's weird. Really weird. And it could be done a lot better. So, there are a few flies here, but what do you expect about a show of corpses wandering around trying to eat people? Overall, you might actually love this one as the world ends around us. I say check it out. <laughs>